I'm Levi LaValle, and welcome to my dream. I believe you can have anything in life if you just want it bad enough. Now grab your helmet and let's get to living. All right, hey guys, I'm here in Texas. Mollier 21 Polaris Snow Show. Right in there is where the goods are. Let's go check it out. All right guys. We're here right now. We're here in the future. Model year 21. We've infil infiltrated the, the building. See that? You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Matrix. Matrix. Woo! All right, that's my new dog. So we're gonna go around. They got all these new sleds, all this new stuff all over the place. We're gonna take you one by one. We're gonna show you all the goods that's new. Model year 21 Polaris. Let's go check it out. We're gonna start off with the big red here. I love this. this, is the Indy XC. Indy XC is a trail monster. That thing is so smooth out on the trail. One of my favorite on trail, you want a smooth, cushy ride? This right here, this is the sled. And I love this new colorway. The red with the with the high vis on it, it just makes it, it just makes it pop so well. So love this sled, love this one. 137, baby. This is my jam. This is one of my favorite sleds this last season. And this right here is definitely gonna be in my fleet. I love in the new purple. All I'm thinking about is purple rain, purple rain. But Indy 137 definitely was an awesome sled. Great on the trail. I had some fun, a little bit of off trail, a little bit of ditch banging, had to crank up the, the clickers, but this sled right here, 137, one of my favorites from this previous season. So definitely a, definitely a keeper. This was the other favorite from last year, Indy XCR right here. This sled, I had so much fun, blasting the, blast the trails, jumping road approaches, ditch banging. This was my jam and they even have the bigger lug track on it. Got the inch and three quarter on this one. I highly recommend that one simply because it, you just hook up. You want to rip a wheelie, you want to go and jump something. The inch and three quarter was awesome for that. But this sled was definitely one of my top dogs in 2020. So the 2021 new colorways, look at this thing, this blue. Definitely liking the blue, liking this sled. Another one that is top notch. Boom! Matrix. This is what we're all here for. New sled, Matrix. This one here is the 850. This one is the Ripper, okay? So this sled has all kinds of new features. Matrix has a ton of different things. You know, if you're that trail rider, you want that, you want to go out there, have fun, and not freeze your butt off, the new Matrix has you covered wind deflecting all the way out and around, creating a little bubble around you so that you stay warm out on, out on the trail. They have so many different features, new brakes, new left hand control for the display, for the new 7S display, and they have such seamless fit and finish. Everything is so smooth, so contoured. All right, here's, here's a few different changes to the new Matrix. So we've got a We've got the quarter turn, so here's your storage under the seat. We can fit, you can fit your goodies and stuff under here, which is super nice. This is one of my favorites right here. The evolution of snowmobiling. That's a little, the little egg hanging out down there, hidden egg. Oh, and that's a quarter turn on the back. You know, this big display, this is what's really cool. And we'll get into this here in a minute, but the 7S display is over the top. It's way cool. I can't wait to tell you guys about that. So a couple different things, different grips. Uh, they changed all of the, the fit and finish on all this. 
The nice thing about this sled, this is what's really cool about the new Matrix, is it has such easy movability for the rider. You can see they've contoured this so that when you want to go in for a lean, it's just seamless to drop over into a corner technique, which makes it really nice. There's no walls or anything to go around, so you don't have to be doing anything crazy and you're not bouncing off that stuff or banging your knees into that. It just allows you to kind of slide right over into a corner and position, which makes it really cool. They also have new brakes. Got a new braking system on here, which is which is really neat. I like the new lever. It's a lot shorter than previous ones, and you can really hook in just one finger action. I always use my pointy finger, so it just feels great dropping right in on that. Another one here, left-hand control, so you can run the whole 7S display off the left-hand control. Single hand, you're not taking your hand off the handlebars. You don't have to do any of that. So when you're riding, it's just quick switching like that, which I like because it's got to be a little bit safer. It's got to be safer being able to be keeping your hand on the handlebar and running the brake. So I think that's a very cool feature that they have. You know, another thing that I really like is these new running boards. You know, they got good clean out pockets, but they also have it where, you know, the pockets are small enough where your feet and stuff are not going to fall through them, which um, you know, for me, I have kind of an unorthodox cornering technique where I drop my foot back and I like to see uh, running boards where my toes don't get caught or fall through. So I'm really, really excited about that. This feature here, not included. This is dealer show only. The gaff tape around the gas cap, not coming with the new sled, sorry. <laughs> So, check this out. This is what's cool. We got Brett Turcott doing crazy seat grab flips. We got Chris Brandt, Keith Curtis, all these people riding in these epic mountain situations. And there I am jumping a truck off a sled deck. <laughs> I'm always that guy. I'm that guy. Indy XC 129 Launch Edition. What's unique about this one, though, is has the new 650 in it. Remember the 650 of old? Remember those old 650s, the RXL, the Indy 650? It brings back my youth. I remember seeing guys with those going, oh my goodness. So they brought it back, Indy 650, 650 engine back in the game, and this motor is strong. I talked to some of the folks prior to coming to the dealer show, and they said, man, this thing pulls like you would not believe. Blow the doors off any 600 out there. So excited to get out and try the new 650 engine because I think this thing is gonna be a, it's gonna be a game changer for the 600 class. Where are my crossover folks at? Who's with me? Who's with me? Who likes that switchback 144? We got something fresh for you this year. 146 switchback, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking the same thing. This thing is gonna be awesome. New Matrix chassis, new Matrix, all the goodies, all the goodies. The Velocity shocks, the 7S display, all of the things that we went over. This is, this is one of the sleds that I am so excited for because you know I'm, I'm on off trail. I like doing anything and everything and this is that sled for that. You like to go off, playing out in the powder, but you still want to rip down the trail? This is your guy right here. So excited to get out there, and you can see right here, look at this, this has, this has the new 7S display going. Look at this display. You want your gauges? Oh, no worries. What? Get somebody, hook up your phone? Yes, please. Should we get somewhere? Let's make, let's take the current ride. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's make sure we don't lose anyone. Let's take the, let's take and get the, um, let's get the group ride game going. Right here. Connect all of your buddies. So everyone, you know where everyone is and everyone knows where you are so you don't lose anyone. That's my biggest thing is they lose me. I get lost scrambling around off trail and they're like, where do you go? So now they can keep track of me. 
so that uh, I don't get away. So all of the guys, even if anyone that has the Ride Command app can be connected to the group and they know where you are, you know where they are. And that's like, that's a dream come true. So overall, I can't wait to get out on this sled. 146, we all love that 144. Now they just made it better. Excitement is high, baby. Yeah, you see this right here? That's why, I, this is why I haven't done the Sioux yet. Holy cow. That looks gnarly, gnarly. All right, switchback, XCR. This is a classic right here. This sled, I've had one of these since they came around, man. One of my favorites, awesome trail riding sled, awesome in the ditches, ditch banging. Great sled for both of that. I, uh, I, I can't say enough about it, man. The Pro XC rear suspension, it's just on point. The progressive, the progressive rate that it has so that when you're out riding, you hit those spine tinglers, those hard holes, that suspension eats that stuff up. So love this sled. Player's chaos. You just say the words chaos and it just excites me, right? I had the opportunity to go ride the chaos out in the mountains this last year and hello fun is all I can think of. This thing was such a hoot, man. Going out there, ripping wheelies, just killing it. And, and I'm not very good, I'll, I'll admit, I'm not the best mountain rider, but the chaos just made it so much easier for me, just simply because it was easier to kind of goose it. The thing, the, the skis feel a little bit lighter, so it's a little bit easier to get it on edge. And that was like one of the things that I really liked about riding the chaos. And now they got the new Quick Drive 2, which is over five pounds lighter, which I think is uh, outstanding. We are all trying to shoot for the lightest sled we can get, and Polaris is working on getting it in any and every way they can. So very cool, excited to get another one of these here this coming season. This is the big dog, the 174. You don't run into the snow you need for this one in Minnesota. So Minnesota, 174, three inch pedal, not really necessary. Maybe there's somewhere, but I just haven't found it yet. But if you're that guy that gets into that deep powder, this guy, oh man, bottomless powder, this thing eats that stuff up. I've never even been on, I've never been on enough snow to handle that, but I hope to someday need a 174, because that would be fun to have that much snow somewhere. Okay, Riot S. S is the jam for me. It's like, I almost think it should be the Riot L edition for Levi edition, because the Riot S is three inch shorter ride height, which is awesome. So you can see, you can actually, for the little folk, you can get on and off this thing nice, and it's so much easier to maneuver around. That's what was so fun. I had the opportunity to go ride the Riot S and it was so good. It was literally my first time riding timber sleds and jumping on it. It was so easy and so confidence inspiring, especially being a shorter guy like myself. I literally like, I rode for a little bit. I'm like, this is awesome. Like I can ride this thing anywhere. And as I rode further and further during the day, I was in the mountains, I was able to just take these different lines and I'm thinking about, man, I would be sweating bullets doing this on my snowmobile because you know, it's just technical riding and with the with the, the timber sled, you can just get anywhere you want to go. I mean, it's it's so cool. You can just maneuver so easily. And with the Riot S, with the S version, shorter like that, it really it really was comfortable for a shorter guy like myself. So really excited about that. And I'm definitely, definitely eyeballing getting one of these guys for next year because after riding the timber sled for the first time, I went, holy cow, I can't believe I've been missing out on this my whole life. All right, this is the jam right here. This is the one that I think is gonna be my favorite. Indy VR1 137. This past year, my 137 was, was of the top two, I would say, sleds. Really loved it. Can't wait to get on the 137 and the new Matrix. I think this is gonna be an outstanding sled. We went over all the features. It has every bell and whistle you can imagine. 
and I think this is gonna be my trail riding rocket. So I can't wait to get out and ride this one. All right, that sums it up, model year 21, all kinds of new stuff, new sleds, new colorways, new features, really exciting stuff. So if you guys got any questions or comments, be sure to let me know below. I'm gonna do my best to answer them all for you. And if you guys stick around, I just might be able to get out and ride these things in the next little bit. So make sure to stay tuned to the Live in La Valley channel because we got some fun things ahead. So other than that, that's all I got here from Texas. Thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll see you.